Good morning YouTube. So I just finished discharge test on a group of these 10 BAK 2200 milliamp hour cells and then I've put them back on storage charge. So I've now finished that and let me show you a couple of little things I've added to my testing setup to make working with these single cells a little easier. Let me pull that cable out of the way. You can see one thing I've noticed with these um, cell holders I forgot to come in here and notch out these intermediate ones. These have the notches on the first and, and last position, but the three in the middle don't have notches. So one thing I need to do is come in here and cut some notches out of those. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. This is one of my other cell holders. I have this one set up as a 4S pack with balance leads. And on this one, what I did if you can see there, I just made two little diagonal cuts down and then used a pair of nippers to cut out the middle. So I want to do that with the power shelf holders. It's normally not a problem when you're using the pairs of cells because you can grab the, the upper cell and pull them out easily. But what I am doing in the meantime is I have a, just an old uh, ribbon here and I just lay the ribbon across the uh, holder and then punch all the cells in and this makes it really easy to get them out when you're done charging them. Let me get the last out. What I'll probably do with this uh, ribbon, I might just set up one of these groups of holders for testing the single cells and I'll probably lift this back cell holder up and then uh, wrap the ribbon underneath here and glue it in place so the ribbon will be stuck on one end because one of the problems with the ribbon loose is you get to the last cell and the ribbon just wants to slide out of there so what I'm doing down here I've got my box of uh, 18650s and as I test each group here I need to actually move these yeah I gotta move these over I'm charging recharging the ones that were in this row I want to keep these straight. This was the other thing I came up with. Probably uh, quite a bit of overkill, but I printed this a long time ago, about a year ago, when I first got my 3D printer. And what I was looking for was basically a handle to hold hex bits. And I finally found this one on Thingiverse, which was exactly what I was looking for. It has a, a little hex socket in the end of the handle and you can stick in one of these magnetic bit holders and get a nice little tool holder for various security bits and different things. Yeah, and when I found these, I wasn't quite sure what this tool was. It was described as a nut driver, but I think it was a collection of sort of artistic tools because the end of this was round. It wasn't hex-shaped. And it was, uh, it was kind of interesting, so I printed it out just to see what the heck it was. And it was basically a useless tool. It's really hard to get these individual cells. Like if you're in the middle here, I can't grab that cell. So what I did was I took my useless tool and I glued a little uh, neodymium magnet in there. And now I can just go along like this. And I gotta move these over because I put them in the wrong row. And that works really nice. So I just grab the cells out. I gotta leave this, this row empty. I'm putting these cells on storage charge on my uh, solar battery bank. And then I just finished putting these on with the uh, power shelf. And then I've gotta pull out this next row and uh, run a test on them and then what I've been doing on the end of the box here I just record what the capacity of the, each row is and then I also record that in my spreadsheet and I printed that in ABS plastic and that that's a very handy tool and now I've made this one a handy tool as well so yeah 3d printer is really great if you need some oddball little tool like that you can probably find something print it and uh, repurpose it really quick. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the couple little tricks I've come up with for working with these single cells because I've mainly worked with the uh, 
pairs of cells like I have down here. That's my plan going forward. I gotta finish this box, three more boxes after that, and then we'll uh, figure out what we're gonna do with that. But I just wanted to give you that update. So I'll put some other videos over here on the side. Any questions, post up in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.